what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and before we get into today's video i just want to say if you're a fan of those legends of the game i would definitely recommend subscribing to the channel because that's all i focus on also guys if this is content that you enjoy i would greatly appreciate it if you'd post or as that like button that would help me out a great deal with the youtube algorithm and guys if there's a legend you'd like to see me do a build on let me know in the comment section down below i would be more than happy to do the build and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. So guys, this was actually a requested build. And it fits my channel perfectly because I like to focus on underrated players. And well, Sidney Moncrief is probably one of the most underrated players ever. Um, he is the only guard, I believe, that's ever won the Defensive Player of the Year twice and he won it the first two years um that they were doing the award uh, you know so that's definitely something you know and uh he, he was just one of the best defenders the game has ever seen especially for his size you know typically um you know starting like in the in the 90s um late 80s 90s it was typically big men that won that award right um so the fact that Sidney Moncrief was actually able to win it multiple times, and he's the only one that was able to do that uh, as a guard, uh, something that not even the great Michael Jordan could do, um, that's pretty special, right? And can, when you consider that Moncrief was 6'3", a buck 80, um, I mean, it's just, it's unreal, you know, to think that, but I mean, he was just a really, really good defender, and uh, he, he was just... He was just, he's, he's underrated. And, you know, and the, and the sad thing is, it, he never, we never got to see him at his full potential, you know, because, um, yeah, and this is something that I didn't actually know about until I actually did a little bit of research for the video. I didn't know that he had chronic, you know, like a, a degenerative knee issue uh, that, uh, you know, basically, we never saw him at his 100% best because of that. Um, and I think I read somewhere, I might have seen it in a video, that doctors had essentially said that he may be able to play two years. And, uh, yeah, he, he was able to, to have a pretty good career regardless. He You know, he played at a high level for about eight seasons, you know, at a very, very high level. Um you know, maybe just seven, but it, it was still much more than, you know, what he was given by the doctors. Uh, and I mean, he was a defensive player of the year, a couple of years, like I said, all defensive teams, you know, he would, you know, there was a couple of years there where he, you know, he averaged over 20 points per game too. And it's just, you know, thinking about it, you know, just thinking about it now, really, I mean, that entire buck squad, um, they just kind of get, you know, forgotten about, um, uh, you know, uh, Terry Cummings was a really, really good player. Very few people ever really mention him. Um, really the only one that, you know, gets any kind of recognition. And that was really because of the career that he had before going to the Bucks is Lanier. Um, that would have been on that team, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. So let's get right into this video. I've, so, guys, you know, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you could do this video, or you could do this build, I should say. Um, you know, because, you know, there, there's there's a couple ways that you could do this, essentially. So, you could go this route, um, you know, with the Hall of Fame uh, defense and the Hall of Fame shooting. You could even go this route if you wanted to play this build at a point guard, because you are only going to be 6'3". And that's uh, the Hall of Fame uh, defense and Hall of Fame uh, uh, playmaking. And with this, guys, your speed is unreal, right? Look at that, 93 speed. Um, and the other way that you could do this is the mostly defense with a little bit less shooting. Um, you know, and you, of course, you could do the one that's mostly shooting with a little bit less defense as well. But this is the one that I'm going to go with here. Um, because I just, this to me, when I was going through and working the builds, I felt like this was probably the best one uh, because you've got that defense and uh, you're still able to finish at the basket. 
So for the pie chart, guys, of course, anytime we've got shooting involved, we're going to go with speed. We're going to go ahead and max out our close shot, our driving layup, and our driving dunk. And that's really all we're going to touch on this, guys. Um, we're going to max out our mid-range. We're going to max out our three-point shot, our free throw shooting. And we're going to take uh, we're going to take this all the way up to 75. So we're not going to quite max that out, but uh, we're going to take it up to 75. We'll max out our uh, pass accuracy and our ball handling. And then we'll max out our perimeter defense, our lateral quickness, our steel. And then we're going to go down and we're going to put uh, our rebounding and then we'll put the other 12 on the offensive rebounding. And that's because, I mean, he was, for his size, he was a really, really good rebounder. Um, it doesn't matter about this. We'll go, of course, we're 6'3". Uh, we're going to pull this down to 180. Now here, guys, if you wanted to, I mean, it really depends on you. You could really max this out if you wanted to get, you know, the, those improvements to the steel and the rebounding. Because um, it doesn't hurt your shot a whole lot, right? Because if you look at this build... Um, once you get this build maxed out, you're going to have an 80 mid range and a 74, you know, three or 78 three point shot. So you're going to be able to knock the bot, you know, shots down, but this does help your, your finishing at the rim with your, uh, dunking. And it also helps your perimeter defense, your lateral quickness and your steel, as well as that rebounding. Like I said, for someone of his size, he was able to, you know, grab like four or five boards a game. So we, you know, we definitely want that rebounding to be up. So, I, you know, you could leave it here if you want that additional shooting, but I'm just going to go ahead and max this out. And, you know, you could go slasher or lockdown. I mean, it's Sydney Moncrief, guys. We're going to do lockdown, right? And you have built a perimeter lockdown, which, I mean, that is a, that that's, that's true to Sydney Moncrief, right? Um, I really feel like that's a good one. Now, guys, I'm going to show you another way that you could do this build, and this is if you're going to use this as the point guard. I know Sidney Moncrief wasn't actually a point guard. He played point guard a little bit, I think, but he, he was mainly a, a two guard. Uh, but, it, you know, because of his size, you may want to use this at point guard, and I'm going to show you a really good build to use for that. Um, so if you're going to go the point guard route, I would definitely do playmaking and defense. And of course, we'll just, you know, we'll go speed with this. Now, if you wanted to do speed and vertical, that's another really good way to go. Um, that way you can get up for those rebounds. And of course, just like before, you know, we're going to max out our close shot, our driving layup, and our driving dunk. And with this, you're actually going to have a little bit better driving dunk than you did before. We're going to max out our mid-range, our three-point shot, our free throw, and on this, guys, we're just going to take our post fade up to 55. We're not really going to take it up a whole lot. We're going to max out our pass accuracy, our ball handling. And uh, then we're going to go down for our perimeter defense. We're going to max that out. We're going to max out our lateral quickness and our re or steel, rather. And then, of course, we're going to go down and we're going to put this on our defensive rebound and put these five on our offensive boards. Um, and then... You know, of course, body, it doesn't matter. Of course, we'll be 6'3". We'll pull this down to 180. And then we'll max that wingspan out just to get that additional, uh, you know, that additional rebounding and perimeter defense. And it does help your dunking a little bit as well. And, uh, you know, this is this is if you're going to play this as a point guard, right? Um, I would not, you know, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a true-to-life Sidney Moncrief build. But, you know, some people that, you know, may do this build, they're like 6'3", that would be a really good point guard build. You may want to go this route, and you're still going to have that great defense like Moncrief. Um, you're going to have still pretty good shooting. You're going to have good finishing. Um, you're just going to probably have, which, he, I mean, he he made some really nice passes in his day too, so it's not far-fetched to see this. Um, so you could certainly do this as well. And, of course, you know, you've got a load of different takeovers for this. But, of course, Moncrief build, we want lockdown, right? And you build a two-way playmaker with shades of Baron Davis, John Wall. Uh, you know, uh, Baron Davis did a build on him not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, I mean, guys, if you've never seen Sidney Moncrief play, 
just go check out some of his highlights on YouTube. It, he's definitely fun to watch. Uh, he's he's definitely somebody that I still can't believe it took to 2019 for him to get into the hall because, I mean, when you think about it, look how quick Ben Wallace got in the Hall of Fame, and he was primarily a defensive player, right? And it's not I'm not trying to take anything away from Ben Wallace. Um, but Ben Wallace was mainly a, a defensive player, and uh, I mean Moncrief, he, he you know he played really good defense, but he also had pretty good uh, offense as well. And he you know he could facilitate, he could pass the ball, he could handle the ball, and everything. Um, he, I would I would say that you know Moncrief was a, a five inch shorter uh, Pippen. Uh, that, that's how I would that's how I would say, or that's what I would say about Moncrief, right? He was a shorter version of Scottie Pippen, you know, really good defensive player. He could shoot. I would say he may, be, may have been able to shoot the ball a little bit better than, better than Pippen, but Pippen was able to facilitate a little bit better, I would say. Um, you know, maybe. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's just it's just one of those things like I'm just kind of, uh, you know, just rambling on about, uh, about this. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you've never seen him play, go check out his highlights. If you enjoyed today's video, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd posterize that like button. And if you like those legends of the game, subscribe to the channel. That's what I focus on. And let me know in the comments below a legend you'd love to see me build. That being said, guys, have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you are. Have a good one.